Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, everybody. I am so incredibly excited about what's going to happen here. We have the incredible privilege of having one of my greatest heroes in the world to jump on with us all the way from Mozambique, Africa. This is going to be really, really good. Spread the word, spread the word. See if I can get her to join us here in a minute. Um, hope everyone's doing great. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hello from Indiana. Why don't you guys shout out where you're from? South Africa. <laughs> Orange County. I love it. This is going to be really, really good. All right. Central New York, Arkansas, Texas, Argentina. Man, this is amazing. Denver, Texas. I'm going to be in Texas this weekend. I can't wait. Yeah, we're getting on there. Woo! You made oh, it! I made it! Oh I'm my here. gosh, this is Friends. awesome! Hi guys! Good to see you, Sean! Hello! Oh my gosh, so good to Friends. see you, Heidi! University. Hi. Say who you are! Ernesto Cosa! He's working <laughs> on the university! Zelina Boaventura! Nema Budu! Hi, Paulo Luis! Hi, Teofre Casil, Banan! Oh my gosh. Nadia. Hey. Uh, What's up, everybody? Ernesto, oh, we're doing good. We're still working in the dark now, but um, you, you caught us real. This is our life. So here we are real. Oh, well, well, <laughs> well, that's what we want. We want the real. You know, we want the raw. We want the gritty. Okay. So I got some water on my hair so I could look more fancy <laughs> so, it all up. so for everyone that's just joining us Heidi there's a ton of people on here um I am in Northern California Heidi Baker such a hero a mom in the faith she's in Mozambique Africa and uh we is this your first Instagram live have you ever done this before no man this is going to no. be amazing. <laughs> this is going to yeah, be amazing. Fun. We, we, you know, what we just did, which was really cool before we got on, everybody got a chip of the new Testament in their heart language on their phones. So that was pretty cool. That was as techy as we got just a minute ago. <laughs> wow. So they got so, a, they got like so, an SD, an SD card an with SD the Bible. Chip. Yeah. Yeah. We usually do audio solar Bibles, but like, um, this brother here who's guarding, um, he speaks Kimwani, so he's got the Bible now. He's going to listen. He's brand new here, and he's um, listening in Kimwani, and then Paolo's listening in Makua, and Nema's listening in Portuguese, and they're listening in Portuguese. <laughs> it just depends on what their heart language is, so it's, it was just really... Wow. We just, today we did a couple of hundreds, well, maybe 500 of them. So we're, Man, we're we, that is, that's so exciting. I, I've been telling everybody, you know, we haven't been together in a long time and it's been too long actually. And I, I said, you know, every time I get to spend with you, we, we actually almost die every time. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, Sean. And uh, but yeah, but wow. I love it, you know. Like you bring you bring up. My wife is always scared, you know. She'll let me go to North Korea and go to Saudi Arabia and go to all these places, but she always gets nervous when I'm whenever I'm with you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, your, your wife's not the only one. <laughs> yeah. So we get we get a chance to be together this weekend, and I I can't wait, but. Um, in Florida, but I'd love for you to just share anything on your heart of what God is doing in Mozambique. You know, we are being pummeled by the news of fear and the virus and, you know, inflation and all the political stuff. And it's like my message to people, we just got back from Iraq, is that the kingdom of God is advancing across the earth. You know, the gates of hell shall not prevail. And so 
maybe you have something you could just impart to us of what God's doing there and how we can. I, can. I think I can through, through, I mean, we didn't plan this. I just never could get home because we're, we're just too busy today. So, so the Lord planned it that I'm here with, with my brothers and sisters here. I think the Lord planned it because I, I know that they can tell you Ashley. So I'm just going to let, let them share a little bit and I'll share a little bit because that's how I think that God's showing us through all the, you know, COVID stuff and the war for us, the war is that everybody gets to shine. Everybody gets to share. Everybody gets to be a light. It's not, you know, I've never, I've never been one that just oh well it's a bigger crowd that's exciting now that's never been my my deal as you know um but i love seeing the gospel go forth and eu eu quero perguntar vocês por exemplo você é monino é é seu seu tribo e lá onde tem muitos assim muito guerra em lugar de lá não é muitas pessoas morreram qual é a coisa mais difícil e qual é a coisa mais boa que Deus fizer agora, neste momento, mano? É lá. Coisa mais difícil que aconteceu lá na zona de guerra e coisa mais bonita que aconteceu. Ok. Mais, aha, sua so família. Estão aqui, são sal salvos. E Paulo, qual é a ideia de este tempo tão difícil? Uh, qual coisa é mais bonita? Like, what's the Lord showing you? Qual é a coisa que Deus mostrou você agora neste tempo? Uh, neste tempo, para mim. Can you see him? Um, no, we can't. Put it a little bit. Deus there you are. Mostrou para mim. É, What God's showing me. Para lá. O importante, o que nós podemos fazer é orar para que Deus, para que Deus nos ajude para acabar esse, a, essa guerra. E as pessoas que sofreram lá para que ser, para que, que podem ser salvos. And we're also praying for the people that that they would the people that are suffering there for cause of Al Shabab uh -huh. eh? that they would be saved that they would be saved sim por causa da Al Shabab né que as pessoas que estão lá que sejam salvos que seja Deus que estende a mão para eles para que serem sejam protegidos Al Shabab also that they that they would be saved nós podemos compartilhar para Al Shabab também Sim, sim, nós podemos compartilhar a mensagem para eles e para os Al-Shababs. Al That's what, what we think. Yeah. E, e uma coisa, something amazing just happened yesterday. We, Sean, it was so awesome. The prison, so I was with my discipleship group and the prison literally said, um, asked us to come back in and bring in the audio solar Bibles and pray for the prisoners and probably wow. two thirds of them are al shabab so what i what i think like right now is that everybody gets to shine that yeah you know my the stories i hear like every uh, almost every day are how many like people's heads getting cut off and people getting chopped up and crucified and at the same time we we can still we weep with those that weep and we laugh with those that laugh and we fix our eyes on on jesus and we just keep going that's what we do mm -hmm. we just keep going don't we just keep going yes mm -hmm. we just don't i don't know like how do you guys feel Esse tempo nós estamos a ver que Deus. So this is Ernesto, he's saying. As pessoas estão lá deslocado. The the people that are are, you know, um, I always say dislocated, but uh, 
displaced, the displaced people, both in heart way. The displaced people. Quando se vai lá para visitar a eles? When we go there and visit them. A única coisa que eles sabem que devem ter a certeza que existem. The one thing that they know that they have to be sure of that exists. É Deus. Is God. Porque eles sabem que estão naquele sítio, estão salvos naquele sítio porque Deus permitiu. Because mm. they know the only way to escape. By the way, the closest attacks were like 20 minutes of here. 20 minutes from here by boat. Where you were, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to take you back there right now, but 20 <laughs> minutes from here. Help! But yeah, they, they want to know God. Eles a comida natural. So we bring, we bring natural food. E também distribuímos a comida espiritual. And we bring spiritual food. E muitos deles entregam a vida deles a And Jesus. so many of them are coming to Jesus. E Deus uh-huh. tem feito muita coisa para eles. So God is doing uh, amazing things right now in for them. E nós acreditamos que muito por causa desse tempo nós acreditamos que muitas pessoas vão entregar a vida deles a Jesus. And, and we just feel like because of this in Jesus. Já, já estão entregar eles vão they're, 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 giving their lives to Jesus and they're going to give more of their lives or come to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And what that's a, amen and and and, right, the, and I, the, the new yeah, variant yeah. hasn't stopped the spread of the gospel. No, <laughs> in 28 years of being here I've never seen more people coming to the Lord. Yeah. Wow. And all our big meetings are closed. All our mega churches are big churches that are 2,000, 3,000 people, they're all closed mm-hmm. because of the COVID thing, also because of the war and the threat of um, the, excuse me in English, I can't think in English, right? The terrorists, <laughs> the terrorists. We can't have big churches because of the terrorists right now, but everybody's come to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Qual é a coisa, coisa que você quer compartilhar? Sim, é, de dizer aquilo que estava a falar o irmão Ernesto. It's like what my brother Ernesto shared. Que acho que por ser tempo difícil, mas não acredito, acho que é a fé das pessoas. Um, it's, yeah, it's been a really difficult time, but... Muita, muita gente está a perceber que tem que entregar a vida a Jesus. Many, many people found out that they really need to give their life to Jesus. Porque eles perceberam que... Uh-huh. Because they know that in him, that's where they find effective peace. So we're sharing this with America right now. And it's precise to watch them. And not only with, with um, what we're doing when we're giving out food, as pessoas entregam suas almas a Jesus. They're all giving their souls to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Wow. E... A gente partilha a palavra do conforto e eles recebem na hora também. And we are sharing like these messages of comfort and então, they're receiving immediately these messages of comfort. Então, em algum momento, você até pode se pensar que talvez houve essa confusão para eles se entregar a suas vidas a Jesus. And sometimes they even say this confusion came so that we could be saved. Então, é a coisa mais linda. E and that's the most beautiful thing. Uh, they, 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 Yeah, God's here in their prayers. De referir que as, jo- as zonas em destaque, and as the zonas, de, as zonas que estão sendo atacados. And the zones that are being really attacked right now. São zonas 100% islâmicas. They they were they were on dish. Yeah, on dish. They were 100% um, people of another faith. Sim, mas agora o que está a acontecer é uma é um milagre que estão se entregar todos. Now the thing that's happening is Everybody's come to Jesus. Então, é a coisa mais linda que estamos assistindo nesses últimos dias. It's the most beautiful thing that we've been seeing in these days. Mm-hmm. Obrigado. Obrigado. So, if, we're, if we want to share with Americans, I know you guys are going through a lot of painful stuff with um, politics and COVID and economy and just craziness. But fix your eyes on Jesus and just see what he's doing in the moment. Like, Come on. we get so depressed if we just think about the war. Our brand yeah. new beautiful medical clinic was burned, you know, destroyed in Masimba. 
hundreds of our churches burned to the ground, but we're still here, yeah. right? We're still building this university. We're not stopping. We're like, we're not stopping. We're just worshiping more. We've got a prayer room right here. It's my favorite, one of my favorite places. We just get into the presence and we worship. And wow. when we get into the presence and worship, then we go out and share the gospel. And also the coolest thing that's happened to us is the team's 99.9% .9 Mozambican now. I'm wow. Mozambican. No, I'm, I'm pale looking. <laughs> More like, yes, like you, you. Are. <laughs> but I am Mozambican. So it's like all the team. It's wild. Mm -hmm. it's the, the missionaries all got ekballed out. They got like sent out <laughs> all the world to share the gospel. I mean, their visas got revoked, their, their um, things with COVID, things with the war um, is just too dangerous for families here. Uh, but, but then they got sent out to all over the world sharing the gospel. So wow. even that, there were a lot of tears, a lot of tears, believe me, a lot of people yeah. were sobbing when they had to leave. But, but God's brought good out of all of it. And that's wow. what you have for America. And there's one, um, I don't know, you probably have one more question, but I have some to share after I'll hear your question. <laughs> no, go ahead. Share it. I love okay. this. Well, I was in, um, I was in Harrisburg, uh, and I know you've been in that church. I was there. It yeah. was just um, it was before COVID, and I was way out, as you know, that zone, you know, you, you call it the zone where we're just in the glory, yeah. and it's all, I think you call it swirly, anyway, it's beautiful. Yeah, the, the, kind of the swirl, the swirl zone. <laughs> the swirl zone, we were in it, I mean, it was glorious, and we were just like deep in worship, and then um, it was my time to share, and I mean, the spirit of prophecy just came over me. And uh, when that happens, I don't really, you know, I'm not processing with my mind. I'm just like connected with my spirit. Yeah. So I had a vision and I saw, I saw um, chickens with no heads. And in Mozambique, no sabemj, quando no kosek chikar no chopra, kosek tinki matar galinha, no? They're all agreeing with me. Este galinha vai fazer o quê? Vai fazer o quê? Vai voar. Sem cabeça. Vai voar. Sem direção. Sem direção. So, like, this is something we all know in their head. So, a chicken without his head doesn't know it's dead. No sabe que é bom. So, porque ainda tem nervos. And it's running around and the blood's running. If you don't grab the thing, it's going everywhere with no direction. That's what in Mozambique, if you didn't hold it, vai voar. And it's really weird, but it's true. You all get yours chopped up in a plastic thing. No <laughs> That's not how it is here. So, so anyway, then I saw it, and the Lord said, the church is like the chicken. So much of the church is like the chicken. They lost mm -hmm. their head, and they don't even know they're dead. Mm -hmm. He said, wow. the church is, so much of the church has lost her head and doesn't know she's dead. Tell the church they're not meant to be chickens, but they're meant to be eagles. And I Come want on. them their heads to connect. To, 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 I want to be their head. I am their head. I am their head. Christ is our head. And wow. we can do nothing without Christ Jesus. And then he said, tell them they're not meant to be chickens. Chickens are stupid birds. They're stupid birds. They eles não 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 conseguem voar nada. Sim, sim. Não, é, sim. não como águia. Águia é Vomas alta. Águia, vomas. <laughs> it like floor, soars up. But a galinha. Galinha não, termina embaixo. Termina embaixo. Águia está mais para além, para controlar o voo. De todas as aves, águia é boa mansão. 
all all the eagles they go up to the mountain they're all talking about it like they go up and they fly high and they they can protect and they can see and come on but of there right? but they, but what alvino um ernesto was saying was like the chickens they're just everything's low it's like low in a low place it's in the dirt place it's like they can't see and so the lord showed me and told the church to rise up like eagles yeah and, uh, and then i saw all these bread i saw bread people standing in line for bread and for food and but they had nice cars they were like driving in these nice cars and they had on nice clothes but they were waiting in line but it was in america it was wow. in america and they had they had shiny cars and they were waiting in line for food and the lord said tell them tell them this is going to happen tell them this is going to happen and instead of being afraid they need to mount up like wings like eagles rise above holy above the storm and the church is meant to be the hands and the feet they're the ones that have provision in their hands. They're the ones that have what the rest of the world needs. Mm -hmm. And he said, what we were seeing in Mozambique with miracles, with miracles and multiplication de comida, no é? Nós temos comida sempre, no Sempre na comida. Pode chegar a ouvir quando quer. Boa noite, meu irmão. So, um, so, like, we we here we've watched god provide food multiply food all of that he does it and he said tell the church in america that that this shaking's about to come and then i went to israel for 40 days after i came home to mozambique i went to israel to the desert for 40 days the lord told told me he called me he wooed me into the desert to be alone with him to seek his face for 40 days in the desert. And I went to En Gedi and I feasted with them. And then I went in the caves and I worshiped and I was just, just Jesus and me. And then he showed me the shaking that was about wow. to take place with COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came back, I told the whole church. I voltei, falei com todos que este vai acontecer. And it happened. But instead of us being shaken, We'd already asked our, our bases in America to put seven containers of food on the ocean, 40 foot containers, because we knew we were going to be greatly shaken here with war. Yeah. It would increase. And so, even though we, we knew ahead of time, we weren't afraid. No, 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 no. I mean, Al Shabaab, Al Shabaab, yeah. Uh, sometimes we are a little frightened. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> but but we keep going. Like we're yeah. talking about the, the the fear that like keeps you from moving. Mm -hmm. Like I I mean we're still all here. Like, yeah. I didn't even hold the microphone for 18 months. It was glorious. I just did what I've always started doing, just preaching in the dirt. Yeah. As loud as your voice can be, as big as the group can be, all the churches were closed, but all we did was just see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people come to Jesus. So I think our experience here, I think maybe we're forerunners. Amen. Well, I, I you know, when, when everything went crazy here and, and with our teams in India, in the Middle East, and a lot of countries that we're in, we felt like, like actually it was, it was the Lord was propelling us and launching us to be the answer and to be the hope. And in America, you know, probably seen, we got, you know, we, we gathered people on the beaches and under bridges and, you know, did whatever we could do that we said, you know, the church has left the building. We don't need our buildings to see the power of God break out. We don't need our conferences. We don't need our events. And we experienced the rawness of the power of God in, in a way that we, we desperately needed in America. Yeah. And so I can't wait to celebrate 
with you and, and to be together on Saturday and Sunday. And it's been yeah, too long. It has. I don't travel much now, um, which <laughs> I've really been enjoying, but I do, I did, did feel to come. Are you going to be able to make it in? <laughs> I, I mean, we'll see. I got a pack. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to make it. I think so. I, mean, I think you're going to make it. At the border or something, but yeah. Well, I feel, I feel like, um, uh, hey, well, I remember I was thinking about with all these shots and this stuff. You remember that one time we flew in together to Mozambique and they made us get a shot when we went in oh, yeah. and we didn't even know what the shot was? <laughs> I did. But I just said, get the shot, brother, or you can't get in. <laughs> I don't even know what the, what, what the shot was. It's not, <laughs> it was gave so a shot. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> People are so freaking out about so many things. Just read the end of Mark. You know, <laughs> it's like, just, just, trust you. you know, but you were a good sport, Sean. Uh, you just <laughs> God. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gotten to experience the beauty of the people of Mozambique. Oh, They're man, so I was, I, I, it was worth it. I mean, I, I still don't know to this day what the shot was. But, you know, what yellow I do know. Fever. A yellow fever. You're vaccinated for yellow fever, <laughs> Okay, Sean. good. That's what it is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but regardless of that, I, I do know that you know, uh, you're, what you guys are doing and the, the power of the gospel breaking out. And I think that we, now more than ever, that message, the good news of, of what he's doing is so relevant. And we're going to celebrate that. We're going to have a time of impartation together this weekend where we just go like we soar, like you're talking about. We just soar. Remember a lot of times when we were together in Mozambique, you would just tell me to play and then you would just go out in the spirit and and I'd be playing for hours. I'd be like, all right, Heidi, when are, what, what are we doing now? And you were just knocked out. I love it. I love to work. That's my favorite space. And you know, you work really hard. Ask them. Ew on the moon tonight. They're all tired trying to keep up with me. <laughs> but I'll tell you. I know where to find my strength, and my Come strength on. is in him, Amen. you know, Amen. and that's what I did. Even this morning, I had a crazy long day today. We're not done. We still have to finish these buildings. <laughs> but um, but I'll tell you, I woke up, and I just spent time worshiping, just spent time in the glory, and that's why we're still alive. That's Amen. why we're still alive, really. We, we're worshipers, so... I love worshiping with you, and that was something that I was excited about coming. I, oh I man, I can't wait! Would you, would you, would you guys just pray for everybody out there? There's, you know, yeah. thousands of thousands of people will be watching this. Uh, yep. We're gonna be in Orlando, Florida, on Saturday night. Peace on Earth. You can uh, jump on my page to find details. We'll be together on Sunday morning at All Nations Church. We're excited, but just pray. You, you guys are carry such an impartation, and we need this right now. So just yeah. release it. And show you, they're all praying. Um, <laughs> guys with guns are praying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your mighty impartation, Father, that they would be the hands of Jesus and the feet of Jesus, that they would not be chickens. Lord, without heads, but they would be eagles connected to the head, Jesus. Lord, you are the heart. You are the purpose. You are the reason, Lord God. So we just pray for the for the people, of the church in America to rise up, Lord, to just to get rid of their fear and to connect their heads to you, Jesus. Come on. To, to, to let their to let the mind of Christ be in them, to get rid of their fear and to get rid of their um, the times where they're just depressed by the politics or just depressed by the COVID, depressed by the economy. 
We say no more in Jesus' name. Come on. Rise up. Rise up and shine. Rise up. You're meant to shine. You're meant to love. You're meant to be the answer. You're the ones with the food. You're the ones with the spiritual food. You're the ones with the physical food. You're the ones with the light. You're the ones with the love. You're the ones with the mercy. You're the ones with the kindness. You're the ones with the answers. So do not hide. Don't don't get don't just get hidden away in a little corner somewhere in fear. But go and go and go and shine and shine and shine and worship, worship, worship the Lord everywhere in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uza and Jesus and Jesus and in nome de Jesus. Holy is the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right, but I know it's now it's your turn. We're going to receive. Elish <laughs> Bowler, I for I know she's Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we just pray for this beautiful nation of Mozambique, Lord. We pray for Iris. We pray for the community there. We pray for the pastors and, and the leaders and the children and the moms and the dads. Lord, we just pray, God, that you would release such an incredible season of grace and momentum and favor and increase and resources Lord, we pray, God, that, that even as they've been pouring out, God, in the, one of the most difficult times in modern history, Lord, we thank you, God, that you are coming. You are coming. It says that, 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 that there's healing that, that's released like the calves from the stall, Lord, that verse in Malachi, like, like that healing grace that's being released. And I thank you, Lord, that they have not seen anything yet, Lord, that they are going to see the most radical signs and wonders they're going to see people raised from the dead they're going to see people healed of incurable diseases i know they've already seen it but all the all they've seen so far is just a drop of what is coming and so lord i thank you jesus that because they are faithful because of their faithfulness god to stand and to serve and to love and to pray and to feed lord you are responding with your faithfulness to bring an increase like they've never known before lord across the world right now everybody that's watching we just extend our hands and we release an impartation of faith an impartation of expectation lord we pray that all of the um I just feel like anything anything that's been cloudy or hazy or 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 vague I feel like there's great clarity coming to the decision makers there on the ground there's great vision that's coming there's like apostolic windows that are opening up ceilings that are being raised higher and and I feel like this is a real season where where it, it, it's the it's the Joel it's the Joel chapter two where your young men will uh, your your old men will see visions and your young men will dream dreams and I just pray for the dreams of, of God to be released on the young and 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 the, and, the, and the visions of God to be released on the old and I just thank you Jesus Lord that that there is there there is coming a day like we've never seen before. Oh where we see the enemy has overplayed his hand. He's yeah. tried too hard to push us down, to mess with us. And God, you are coming in with, with power. You're coming in with authority and you're coming in with love. And Lord, we just thank you, God, that we get to be alive for such a time as this, Lord. Lord, we thank you that we get to be the ones to see your kingdom break out in such a wild time in history. I thank you, God, that you have handpicked every single one of those leaders. Lord, every single one of them, God, even this security guard that's standing there, Lord, you handpicked him for such a time as this to be there. And so, Lord, we pray, God, even tonight that they will go to sleep energized by love. Lord, like yeah. it says about Jesus, that he was energized by love. God, I thank you, Lord, that they are going to carry an energy espresso of the Holy Spirit caring love to release it everywhere they go in jesus name amen we love you guys we love you so much we love you i'll see you in a couple days and i'm going to come to mozambique as soon as they'll let me i love you <laughs>